To apply a material to the object, first we need a scene to practice applying materials to. So I'm going to go over here to File, Scenes, Examples. I'm going to switch this to Solid so the preview looks better. And now enable Interactive Render. I'm going to also switch it to Camera Frame so I can have it render a little bit quicker. Now I'm all ready to apply materials to it. To apply a material, we're first probably going to want to apply a new material, which is found down here in the materials. So I'm going to click on floors and tiles. Now to apply one of these materials, there are two ways to do it. The first way is to click on an object or hold down control and select multiple objects. And then go down here and double click on the material that we want to apply. The second way to do it is to take the material and drag it up to apply it. The next place to get materials from to apply to our objects are from the materials already within our scene. So if we go over here to content, click on materials, we can now take one of the materials that have already been applied in our scene and apply it to multiple objects in the same two manners that we used over here. We can also go over here and while we can't select object or objects and then double click on this material to apply it, we can take this material from here, drag it over and apply it that way. Another thing we should watch out for is if we get a material from down here and we apply it to one object and then we drag up another copy, apply it to another object, and we do this multiple times, we will end up with multiple materials applied each to its own object. So if we change the properties of one, it won't affect the others, which can be a good thing in some situations, but more likely we want to be able to change the properties of a single material and have it change throughout all the materials. So this would then be a bad thing. A better way is to have one material applied to multiple objects. This way, if we change the properties of the one material, it will change the properties to every single object it's applied to. The last way to apply material is to take it from up here in the material lab. So let's say we select the fan pattern material. And we drag it over here to put it in the material lab. Now we've noticed that all those materials were suddenly replaced. And that's because if we notice down here, that black tile material that we had has been completely replaced with this new fan pattern material. It even kept its old name of ceramic tiles. But it is the fan pattern material. I'll just do it again by taking this material and putting it over here into the material lab. And we'll notice again, now the fan pattern material has been replaced by the ceramic tile material. There is another way to apply materials. And that's by dragging material from here and putting it directly on the object. So let's say I double click here. I have now this material applied to this object and I want to apply it to these other objects. I can drag it from the material lab, place it on the other objects, and this will put this material on that object without replacing it completely here. Now after we have our materials applied like we want, we might have some extra materials here. So to just clean it up and only have the materials over here in our scene that we need, we can right click, go to clean up, unused materials, and it will clean up any materials not currently used in this scene. So any materials not applied to an object will be cleaned up. Another way to apply materials to the scene is to click on the object that we want to apply the materials to, either over here or over here, and then 
right click and go to assign material and this lists all the materials that are currently in our scene so we can replace it with any other material in our scene. It works the same way as if we do it over here. And that is the way to apply materials in the render. I hope you have fun with that and I'll see you in the next section.